My name is Keiko K. Hirai, owner of Studio 904 Hair Salon, author of three books, Yumi's Life Lesson, Keiko's Journey, and now Sheer Determination, the book that you are reading right now. In this chapter, I wrote that um, my mother is talking to me, and my mother is saying to me that your life is spared, you must do something good with your life, you must help others, and I'll share a little background story on this. Uh, in 1945, um, August 7th, the uh, United States dropped an atomic bomb on Hiroshima and uh, thousands of people were um, devastated and died and uh, the city was just a total disaster. Two days after that, on August 9th, uh, the target was the city where I lived. Uh, American planes were sent there. I circled the city ready to drop the atomic bomb and but unfortunately unfortunately for them uh, there were many clouds in the sky and then on the ground it was hard to see anything because the city has been uh, being bombed for days and days and the grounds were smoky and um, they were not able to identify the target that they were looking for which is a um, the largest arsenal factory in Japan at that time and that was the target and um, planes circled the city around six times and the, still the weather did not improve they were not able to see the target and so then they were given order to fly directly down to the city of Nagasaki uh, 93 miles of southwest of Kokura and uh, atomic bomb was dropped on that city and again killing thousands of people and ruining the whole city and this is the reason why mother continually reminds me that that we really should have been dead but our life was spared through some kind of reason bad weather she called it bad weather but um and that is the reason why I must never forget that um, my life was spared and I must thank, she called um, Kamisama, their uh, meaning God in Japan. And she wanted me to always um, thank the Kamisamas and, and give my praise and, and promise him that I would do good things and, um, and I would be so grateful for my life. And so that's the reason uh, why I think the way I think and why I always feel um, a responsibility to take care of others. So I hope this little background story helped you to understand um, why I do the things that I do. Thank you.